this week is incredibly difficult like i don't even know how i'm gonna do this video because imposter syndrome is just like killing me this week and i know i'm here for you i'm on this channel i started this channel to be here for you to take care of you mentally spiritually emotionally One, two. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bidumelo Gometa. If you are here for the very first time, this is a channel where I take care of you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Listen, I am your sister and I am here for you. Okay, to say sister, mm, that's a little bit of a responsibility on me, but I'm just someone who cares about people online. Okay, um, if you're a tenant subscriber, Shos Koko, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Um, today I don't have notes, I want to talk about something, but I don't have notes because I want to talk from my heart. Did I did I show you guys this? How beautiful! How beautiful! Um, I'm drinking tea. I got this cup from work for Christmas, and I and I thought it was just the most beautiful thing ever. So I want to talk about wellness in the workplace. Well, I've been doing wellness in the workplace this month and um today i want to talk about feeling undervalued and this is not only like the workplace i think it also goes for uh people who are in varsity or people who are doing their internships and all of that i want to talk about feeling unseen feeling undervalued feeling um like you just don't matter like you just like a number and you don't matter okay so I don't have notes as I said today because I just want to speak from the heart. I didn't even practice. So everything I'm going to say straight from the heart. I have been someone in that position for a very long time. As you guys know, I've shared this a couple of times that I started my career in quite a rocky way where I was um, feeling like I'm not, um, what can I say, equipped well equipped to do the job that I need to do also feeling like um, I don't have the necessary skills um, nobody sees me no one is um, helping me so I'm just thrown into this deep and I am suffocating and I just don't know what to do to a point where I got so much anxiety that writing an email was literally like a huge thing um, having to speak in meetings and all of that it was so bad so bad that i ended up not getting invited to meetings like everyone in the team yo that needs to break my heart yo. <laughs> it breaks my heart even thinking about it now yo ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was so bad that the whole team will go to a monthly meeting uh, where I would actually prepare the slides and all of that. Um, well, not prepare myself, but then people like will send me part of their slides and, you know. And people will go for like two hours and I would be sitting alone all by myself. Those times really didn't teach me anything. <laughs> I wish they had taught me anything, but I think I needed those times to be where I am today. Not that I have um, completely elevated to a whole dimension, but I think that right now at my age, I was 23 then, I am 28 now. Five years ago, I wouldn't have let, well, five years ago, I would let people talk down on me, look down on me, not get invited and all of that. But right now, I put my foot down, okay? I've learned to speak um, speak up more in the workplace. I've learned to ask questions. I've learned to say, hey, I'm not coping with this. Please help me. I've learned to say, um, I can't take this work. It's too much for me. I've learned to say, hey, give me, much, um, give me more work that I need to do. I want to do more. I've learned to ask for difficult tasks and all of that. You know, I've just le learned to step out and and be. But I I I really I I don't think there's anyone that 
understands what it feels like to be buried in the workplace like than me i am someone who knows how it feels to feel buried in the workplace and if you are watching this i just want to give you a few pointers or like encourage you to say um most of what i went through was because i allowed myself to bully myself if that makes sense so i like i allowed myself to think i shouldn't be here i'm not worthy all these people are smart i am dumb all these people know what they're doing i don't know what i'm doing so whatever i was thinking whatever i was feeding myself it showed it showed in in, in how i work and it, it showed in how i interact with people i was extremely extremely um shy extremely insecure like painfully insecure you know like i went to the bathroom and cried a couple of times because i was so dead inside and one of the first things that i learned to overcome is the bully inside my head like i've learned not to allow those voices that tell me i'm worthless and what not and what not be my reality or be my truth you know so please listen to how you talk to yourself listen to how you talk about yourself there's a there's a instagram reel and a tiktok uh, video that i put up um that said do, do not generalize how you talk about yourself do not general don't be like i'm dumb i'm stupid i don't have skills or whatever say i don't know how to do sap i don't know how to do excel i don't know um how to write an email be specific because when you're specific you know exactly what you need to work on you know exactly where to ask for help and sometimes those specifics can be a lot that so much that you feel like i'm just done but write them one by one list them one by one and you'll be able to face them one by one another thing that i want to say is that um do try and find a mentor do try and find someone that you can go to someone that you can voice out what you need to talk about or someone that can see potential in you someone that can build you up someone that can um encourage you you know i think the boss that i have right now is literally heaven sent i've been praying for such a boss for ever since i've started working you know so she is that person she's a person not only for me but the whole team we can go to her we can say hey i'm struggling with this whatever she will encourage you she will uh be that mentor that you need in the workplace so if 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 possible please find someone even if it's not someone within your space it would be better if it's someone in your space but even if you can't find someone in your space find someone that you can talk to and then um another thing as i said i'm i'm thinking about these things from the top of my head i didn't want to write notes because i really want to speak from the heart another thing is to trust the process like i think for me i was so hard on myself because i'm one of those people and i think i know it's because of adhd i'm one of those people who don't like the process i want to be taught something and i immediately get it and the workplace has been such a difficult place for me because high school primary I, um, i am that person you tell me once i get it you know and working has been difficult because you have to tell me a couple of times and i gave up on myself if i don't get it the first time then it's like i mentally shut it down then i i will never ever get it so trust the process of learning trust the process of growth trust the process of becoming better you know um every good thing takes time and so does your growth your growth takes time so don't like rush into it and also have conversations with your boss i never used to have conversations with my boss and i grow so bitter you know because i couldn't voice out i was so overwhelmed and like it's just like in this dark space and i couldn't say anything so get to a point where you feel comfortable enough to um not even comfortable enough let me say have courage i don't have courage so have courage to 
say hey i'm struggling with this or this is what's happening or um i don't feel seen please include me in the meetings um i would like to start um being in strategic meetings i would like to start like doing some um difficult projects or i would like like step out and make yourself available and also if you feel undervalued because of um finances you need to fight that that one i don't really have a way you can fight around it and i'm sure you can find a video that can help you especially if you talk to people in hr and all of that they they might be able to give you a better advice but if you feel undervalued because of finances um i still do <laughs> and um we've been trying to fight it but we've also understood that it's just company culture and sometimes i don't know you just know which battles to fight and which ones to avoid so yeah that part i'm not going to go into detail with it because it's still a very like it's a soft spot for me it's a sore spot for me yeah so i hope this video was um valuable to you i hope it has given you tools to get on with um your day your your month your week and get to do difficult things in the workplace if not um i hope you send it to someone that you think it's going to be helpful to and yeah please subscribe to my channel if you love my content and um like this video if you really loved it and comment with your thoughts on this and any pointers that i didn't um bring out um any advice that you would like to give to people i would truly appreciate that i would love that um yeah that's all i wanted to say thank you so much for being here i hope you come again next week and i'll see you i love you guys so much as you know as you know as you know you know you know i guess why i live for the yellow for the for the yellow